Before the iPhone, before the iMac, or even the Windows PC, members of the Homebrew Computer Club, Steve Jobs among them, gathered every other week, first in a garage, later on the campus of Stanford University. The Homebrew Computer Club was social media of its day. Lee Felsenstein was one of the organizers. We were witnesses to a lot. Not all of it had the same impact and duration as Apple. You can't get far into the history of homebrew without running into the meteoric rise of Apple. And 38 years after the club started, Apple founder Steve Wozniak is getting the rock star treatment at its first reunion in years. Everybody in the club that talked to me and said, and had ideas, those were what inspired me as to what should go in a computer and really be useful for people. I wanted to be a part of this so bad. Paul Terrell was a homebrew regular and owned a computer store called The Bite Shop. After seeing Jobs and Wozniak demonstrate their first Apple One at a homebrew meeting, he invited Jobs to his store the next day. When he came into the store, I told him that if he would assemble and test the Apple One computer that they had, I would buy 50 of them. The price, $500 a piece. It was Jobs and Wozniak's first deal, landing them 25 grand in 1976. That was basically their seed capital to get the company off the ground. While Apple often gets the credit for ushering in the PC era, Wozniak has high praise for the entire club. I was just a geek who was very skilled at having an idea I could turn it into a real working device. But these were the intellectuals that I admired in the world, the people that thought about society being different. 